five years of Waypoint. We're celebrating today with a one day stream and we're welcoming back all the old family. What happened to Patrick? Uh, uh, Patrick had technical difficulties 30 seconds before he went live. Just, just no, just don't, don't worry about it. Also, <laughs> Rob, you, yeah, just don't worry about it. Just don't worry about it. I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back. Just Wait, how do people hear interview. this? Yes. Is yes. this going out? Okay. Yes. This is yeah. live. Yes, we're yeah. live. Yeah, okay. Keep going. Keep going, Rob. Hi, Danielle. Hi. Welcome back. Hi. Nothing's it's, changed. It's so good to be back. It's so wonderful. I didn't know I was going to be on camera, so the Zam sweatshirt was not intentional. Oh, <laughs> ask ask Danielle about Zam. <laughs> Zam. Hey, listen. Fanbite.com. Great place. Great place. You know, when you're not on Waypoint, you should come hang out at fanbyte.com. Great. It's wonderful. It's a website. It's a website. Uh, <laughs> so, and Duskers is a game. Uh, so we're going to be playing spooky games all day long, but I was thinking, what's a what's a good, uh, good way to start off the morning? Like, slightly more contemplative, slightly more chill, but also has some vintage horror vibes. And... Uh, Misfits Addicts Duskers uh, strikes me as a game that kind of fits the bill. And Danielle, do you do you, have you encountered this before? Have like we talked about this? I feel like I have encountered this game, but I've never played it. I've heard of it. I love the vibe. I love retro horror. I love that kind of vibe. So I'm so excited so, to delve in. See what it yeah, is. Yeah. So the the pitch for this is uh, it's sort of a text parser. Uh, interface horror game where you are basically something bad has happened in space uh, and you are going around trying to just like stay alive and investigate what's happened uh, aboard a ship where your only companions and your only tools for exploring the world safely uh, are a series of Roomba like drones uh, you can send into these uh, to these spaceships and they all have different abilities they have different tools uh and as you go along the spaceships you're invading are getting harder and harder uh so there's a lot of like looking at schematics and just trying to sort of puzzle out like what is the order of operations to successfully do all this stuff um, uh, i couldn't get my camera to work. i gave up i gave up do we explain what we're doing here rob like today, like the whole like, the, like the stream. Uh, I mean, I just, What's the stream oh, like, is? You just you just jumped. You're like, hey, we're just here with Danielle. It's Friday. Uh, welcome, Danielle. Fridays uh, here, man. No, I mean, I said it's it's the five year anniversary stream. <laughs> we're this gonna is... have a day long of having our old friends coming through playing playing games. We're gonna be playing Dead by Daylight with Matthew Golf, uh, GTFO, with Emmanuel NFT. Myberg. We're gonna be doing Jedi Academy Round Robin Tournament. We with uh, Mr. Austin That's Walker, it works. Game. I rented a mo I rented a server from Germany. I'm I am paid six dollars, <laughs> and it works. God and I have tested yeah. it. I don't exactly know where that six? PayPal money is going, but I do know that it goes to a German company that I. I we rented a server. Uh, we're gonna be doing phasmophobia. We bought a farm. I bought a farm. A, di a, a digital farm. Yeah. We're doing phasmophobia with uh, with Danica, with Natalie. We're gonna be doing uh, Jackbox with Gita. We got a whole, we got a whole day, a whole bunch of shit, and this, it's Way Day. Welcome to Way Day. That sounds, that sounds something like corporate handed down. Like, okay, we're gonna need, we came up with this branding. We need you. We need you. Sorry, uh, we made, we made the posters. It's Way Day. Sorry. It's way As day. if corporate would say sorry. Right. Well, that's fa that's fair. <laughs> anyway, sorry. We got Dusters. some epic emails lately, for sure. <laughs> I'm sure. Um, Patrick, I can't see you. Am I supposed to see you? You should be able to see me. I'm here. My camera's here. The stream can see me. Okay. You might have I to can't... toggle. You have to toggle my camera. You might have to toggle. Uh, uh, but don't worry about keep, it. Keep pressing it. We'll figure yeah, it out. Okay. There we go. Yeah. There's Patrick. The stream can see Patrick. All right. So. Uh, yeah, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna go aboard. What do we got here? We're going aboard a prisoner transport ship. So this is Farscape. Because we've got DRDs, it's a prisoner transport ship. What's a DRD? The Roomba like. Uh, the Roomba like that... little okay. robot. <laughs> all right, all right. Sorry, I thought I was missing a a much. A, a... No, I'm just a nerd. It's okay. No, you're you're fine. You're fine. You're among <laughs> family. No, but somebody. I think. Uh, gosh, 
who was having this conversation where somebody was like, you know, if you like Guardians, uh, you should check out Farscape. And it's like, far, like Farscape did everything Guardians does, but probably maybe better before. I don't know how do those a puppets how do those puppets look now? A lot you, better. You, 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 I think, are you, how, what kind of uh, rose colored glasses you? Oh. Oh, there's some good puppets. All right, so we are. Oh, I love are, this. Yeah, so I don't know how this is. Uh, one of the things that we had a, a, a real trick with here was. Um, so there's a lot of Misfits Attic. I think like the lead developer behind it uh, has a background in like visual effects in movies and TV. Nice. And so there's a lot of like cool little effects that have uh, old like old fashioned interface elements. There's a lot of digital noise. I think. Uh, Kato, I'm curious. How are how's OBS Ninja handling the it old, looks uh, good. The old it noise? It looks good. Seems yeah, good, all right? Right, right chat. Uh, Seems good. Yeah, and shout outs to the chat, Davies Maximus in the chat gifting five subs to Robot Robotice Egg Robotis Egg or Robotic Star Egg. Cat? <laughs> Robo is it there isn't Robotic But there's an egg. E. Egg. Robotic. Oh, robot. Robot. Okay. It look. It looks weird when reading it. Uh, Star Cat. His hat. Young liars. And cat. 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 But all. I should be. Uh, I should be specific. It's a uh, cat with a K. Cat with a C. Cat with a C. Cat with a K. Yeah. You know, I just want to make sure the people. Good. Yeah. There's. There's some, some nuance there. Also, I wanted to. Uh. What, uh there was. We're, the, uh, the, the, damn. We're on level five hype train, which means a ton happened during the music. Segment. Come on, right? Hey, the people out here supporting Jeffrey's rights. I, I train are you on? Uh, yeah, yeah, people, <laughs> people, people, people are hyped for Duskers. Uh, Jeffrey writes 10 o'clock, stream starts 10 14. Danielle mentions Farscape. So we're just, you know, when we Listen. said that this was going to be a stream celebrating the past, present, and future of Waypoint, we meant it, you know? Um, <laughs> can you not, uh, you know, uh, there are, we haven't done this. I really want to do this at some point, but you can stream movies that are like connected to your, to Amazon Prime, like certain ones and like watch them like synced up with the audience as far as escape on Amazon Prime. Are we going to, what's, what, uh, what, what can we get Danielle into Event Horizon? Call. Hold on, everyone, brace yourselves. Event Horizon as well. Absolutely. Yes. Uh, Tabasco Dagama says, please use the degauss command so people understand how great this game truly is. Brace yourselves. I'm curious what's going to happen here. Okay, I'm ready. I'm holding on to my chair. Switch views to use this feature. Oh! Whoa! Thank you. Oh. Yay! Beautiful. Uh, okay, this, so, this awesome. shout outs to <laughs> Physics is Queer for gifting a sub to Sir Lewis. Also, apparently, Farscape is on Amazon Prime, so it is. Po I've never seen Farscape before. If this is true, if we can stream Farscape to a Twitch account legally, I am now legally binding Danielle that she has to come back and watch a Farscape episode <laughs> uh, with us back. and talk about it. Any day, anytime, I will absolutely be there for that. Never seen a Farscape. See, I've seen the DVD. I've seen like the. I've like seen, you know, pictures of it, um, sure. but I've never watched uh, the actual uh, show. Although I feel like I've seen some of it because of uh the uh, uh, the way you speak of it the way you so lovingly uh talk about about farscape and they're doing that new one right but people seemed people seem not necessarily super what? hyped but it's the original creator right coming back to do do a new one and that's so. that, i haven't kept up completely with it but i have heard they are redoing it for some reason <laughs> i don't know why we you would redo something that's the best thing that's ever made but okay you know well, so it's pretty... There are no everything, nothing happens unless it's a franchise that comes with a pre built appeal. So, unfortunately, there will be nothing new, just uh, different takes on the old. Oh, is Patrick missing up Farscape in Babylon 5? He might be. He might be. That's oh, Babylon yeah, 5 okay. might be the one that's kind I, of I was possible. Like, I had no idea they were bringing back Farscape. That was. Okay, yeah, Babylon 5. I, I kind of like, where well, I was mixing, I mean, those, that was roughly the same era, though, right? Really like, it's like thought I. It like hit my brain as like a yeah that sounds like something that could happen so bring All back right, the puppets like... though so what are you yeah. trying to what do you accomplish what are you trying to accomplish here rob so you... this is basically just like the first ship you board like doesn't have much it usually just has some basic resources but you're trying to gather enough resources so you can keep like sailing around and okay. boarding more ships uh this ship is empty the first ship like always is 
uh, and then you start boarding ships that are filled with monsters. Uh, so the thing is, you can alternate between views where you can guide your little your little robots around in this view with the arrow keys and sort of explore and get a uh, you know top down view of what the ship looks like. Uh, but you can also uh, give them like commands through the uh, command line interface. I think I think this is the, yeah, yeah. the Hell correct yeah. frame. Right this right. is how I talk to my Roomba. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh, there they go. Look at that. It's, and it even has that little daughter stop animation that's beautiful. Yeah, this so. This reminds me that I have to check out the Midnight Protocol. That command line mm. hacking game thing that came out like yeah, uh, a you know what? Um, uh, Baron Blissey, shout out to Baron Blissey, who's done a lot of wonderful stuff in the Waypoint community, responsible for Waypoint.gay. Um, where if you nice. like us need to figure out which which episode <laughs> of the podcast it is when we're about to record, Waypoint.gay is a great resource, <laughs> um, an internal tool for the Waypoint community, but also points out, Rob, we need to rename these robots at some point. Um, and so I got to imagine that's a feature unless you're very committed to Corey um, and the other and names Kyle. that <laughs> and Kyle that you Corey and Kyle. And if it's true, if you're very committed to Corey, Kyle and, and Aaron, Aaron, I need to know the I need to know the backstories you've created for these characters. No. All right. Farscape uh, characters. Farscape characters. All right. Hit us, Danielle. All right. We could do Dargo. Uh, let's do Aaron. Uh, let's see. Hold on. Two. Ooh, good name. And uh, uh, Rigel. Let's do Rigel. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is great. You let me come on the stream. I, lo I love that you just know how time. to type those off to the top of your head. Yeah. Wonderful. <laughs> those are not. Those are not necessarily <laughs> phonetic names. Oh, is but it, you... no, hold on. But I might. I might have it wrong. Was it Rigel with an I or a Y? It's with a Y. I thought so. Yeah. Hey, this is I, I'm not. Qu I'm not questioning. I was impressed that you got the Y. I was like, that seems like the kind of thing that could slip out of your brain at some point. <laughs> it's it's the Y. Uh, once Farscape is in your brain, it's there forever. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's a it's a show that generates its own fanatics. True. Uh, oh, oh Rauchy says Danielle could say anything, and I would believe they are Farscape names. That's true. She she could slide a lot past <laughs> us at the moment, um, and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't shout care. Out, uh, shout Facts out to the matter. Sorry. Oh no, go ahead. I, I don't want to interrupt your Farsc guy. <laughs> your Farscape. No, 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 you can't go for it. <laughs> uh, Bulma Boxer gifting subs to Cool and Slow. Uh, Burr Bourbon. That's a that's a good name. Uh, uh, <laughs> Bouquet of Wasps. That's a bad name. Uh, Skronk sixty one and Uncle Screw Tape. That's a good name. Okay, so. Each time you board a ship, you get a little bit of information about the ship you're boarding. So we are boarding the King's Domain. It's a Class C uh, salvage ship. Uh, it's a shipbreaker, crew six, mm. infestation type one. So there's gonna be a monster on this one. Yeah. Um, and then you get a little bit of uh, like text from the captain's log. Uh, the captain's log text usually is corrupted, but you begin to sort of assemble a mosaic of what's happened. Uh, and you unpack the mystery of Duskers. Uh, so here we've got someone uh, writing in, I'm not writing in like a letter. It's not like the captain. It's not like, hey, <laughs> hey, hey I'm first time, uh... <laughs> first time, long time. Uh, I don't big care. Fan, the facts big of the fan of the are. ship. Big fan of space. Uh, uh, here in the King's Domain, uh, we're big Jets fans. <laughs> uh, possibly. It says so and so would prefer to allow people to die whilst you tinker away in your laboratory, rather presumably doing something use, actually useful. If we are indeed under threat, whether that is militant or natural, we blah, uh, corrupted. That is discernible and immediate. We do not have time to theorize. We do have time to take action. Mobilization of units and deployment of aid will begin tomorrow. Don't try to get in our way on this. Um, okay. Now, given that everyone in the universe seems to be dead, safe bet that this has not gone well. Didn't, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wasn't a great uh, day for Captain of the King's Domain, sadly. Yeah. <laughs> the domain, the domain is, I don't know if we'd be calling it a domain anymore. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Socrates' friend, Daryl, uh, great name, Welcome right? It's been on Waypoint since day one. Yeah. Uh, 
was 20 when it started and 25 now helped me grow as a person and an, as an activist. That's really wonderful to hear. Thanks so much for your support. Uh, five years is a long time. I, I track the length of Waypoint with the age of my child because I joined Waypoint and then had a kid <laughs> three weeks later. Um, <laughs> So I, I can never forget how how old Waypoint is because it is it always like oh, Jessica you're five oh Waypoint you're five. It's kind of perfect. Uh, really yeah, good. very yeah. very good. Are we looking for a monster here? Well, so we're looking for goodies and information, but there may be. So we're gonna have to bring aboard one of our drones in. Uh, that has a generator. Those little electric icons on the uh, schematic are generators. They power the doors. Right now, half the ship is unpowered. So, the big, like, a big part of this is, um, what's that problem of, like, you got a wolf, a lamb, and, uh, like, yeah. you know, the, the crossing the river problem? Like a um, bag of, and, bag uh, of uh, seeds like, or something. Head of cabbage? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, like that's basically this game, but like make it horror, right? Is how do I cross yeah. the river uh, safely? Is it like the Sokotoa thing in math, where it's like the things you do first, and then the things you do second, the things you do third? Yeah, it's, and then if you get it wrong, it'll like. Right now, this is pretty. It's it's pretty slowly paced, but. When things begin to go wrong, it can be kind of become kind of a race to like, oh my god, shut that door! It's coming! It's coming! And then, gotcha. um, these the spaceships quite cruelly tend to have doors that won't shut if they detect something is in the middle. So like, you can't slam the door on the monster. Uh, once it's in the doorway, you're fucked. Um, and we're running the motion sensor that usually sort of tips us as to whether there is something in any of the adjacent spaces uh but it looks like looks like we're good yeah uh and then also socrates friend daryl gifting out subs to storm shadow rocks brown lantern nick pernard zilchound bobby dice roller that's that okay what are you hey. doing tonight oh me yeah. wow well, bobby dice roller you know getting into trouble uh, cool and slow gifting subs to Sigma Factor and UT Sokol Sokol S O K O L. I just want to I just want to believe that UT Sokol is just your big Unreal Tournament fan, and so you just got to put UT at the front of your name. I like that. Uh oh. Uh -oh. oh shit! Oh no! University of Texas. Fair, fair. Something in that room. Universal Translator, you know, if you're a Star Trek fan. <laughs> Listen, go. I like Star Trek too. Farscape, Star Trek, all of it. Sci-Fi Saturday is at Danielle's place. Why didn't I get a warning about that? Hold on here. This seems sus. Come on, Darko. Seems suspect. Something sus on a spaceship? Shit. Oh, sus, sus ship right here. King's Domain. Okay, I, uh, the sound design is incredible. It is. The aesthetics are, are so delightful good. in this game. I, so I recently I'm had to... to oh, God. Why go didn't I get the warning that something was going to be in there? Uh, okay, yeah. So Rigel has the motion tracker. We need to move Rigel into a place where we can get a better view of the ship. Rigel would have the motion tracker. Yeah. Uh, little, to make sure Rigel buddy. doesn't get eaten. Uh, <laughs> he's he's out for himself, that Rigel. Rigel's a little slug guy, by the way, who was like deposed royalty in Farscape canon. I'm looking he's him like, up. Yeah, it's Something real good, going on. real good puppet. <laughs> like, like this like is a fantastic puppet, honestly. Uh, Kato, is it possible to get Rigel on the screen so we can get so we can uh, <laughs> yeah. make him part of Rigel? the Rigel? Yes. Okay. Actually, uh, you Kato, can like, I'm put gonna... him right on my shoulder. I'll try to like, right. yeah, be very still. Hold on. He's a little guy. He's a little little guy. <laughs> oh, buddy. Okay, so I'm trying to bait this thing out of like so. Yeah, 
All right. So now I've sealed it inside a room that I've already explored. So we, we closed the bulkheads at D4 and D3 and opened the door at D5 and the little the little haunted drone. I think it was a corrupted drone, uh, like security drone that opened fire on us. It wandered over into R5 and now it's sealed in there. So now we have the run of the ship. Um, so now King's domain is Rob's domain. Pretty much, well, I think it's, yeah. I'm now the king of, of this domain. <laughs> uh, Woodrose says they're on the Steam page for Duskers, and it looks like the dev team recently reopened development on this five-year-old game. What? Huh? That's an odd wow. thing. Just Fun king things. Just true. king, just Garfield king things. Monstrosity. That's a good. That's a good. That's a good reference. Well, that was Gar mm -hmm. Garfield monstrosity. Full credit. Full credit. Yeah, it just okay. got a big update apparently. Like this game. <laughs> what? Cool. Bob, are you playing an updated version of Duskers that you're unaware of? I mean, I'm, I'm open to it. I sell. I I, I welcome a uh, a new Duskers. <laughs> a new domain of Duskers, yeah. Okay, so Rigel. Oh, Rigel's got a different interface. Is this because Rigel has the motion tracker? Oh, maybe. Is that like a heat map? Like, oh, recently something was here. Doing no, a it's, thing. I don't know why it looks so different. It looks cool. I'm a fan. Yeah, it looks awesome. And then we can bring them all back to the ship. Yeah, people are saying there's a whole 2021 Duskers roadmap. What is going on? Where did you go, <laughs> Duskers? Yeah, Duskers. Go Duskers! Okay, so... <laughs> drone 1 couldn't get in there. Uh, yeah, there's a... Oh, there's apparently a, there's, there's a, a Halloween mode Wow, this game this does game. need some fucking updates, huh? Wow. <laughs> there's, a beta, even... there's a beta branch that you can opt into, I suppose. Huh. All right. Stop the stream, everyone. <laughs> Look, Barry Blissey, Barry Blissey pointing out, it was literally announced yesterday. I thought you all knew, and that's why you were playing? <laughs> No. <laughs> no, amazing. No, no that's <laughs> that's just Waypoint willing what it wants into yeah. the world, which is we want we needed a coffee game to start the stream, and Rob suggested uh, Duskers, and uh, uh, they we put something out into the world a couple of weeks ago when we came up with this idea, and it, it manifested as Duskers 2.0 or whatever they're working on. So I think the other reason I. Uh, like liked this idea was oops I did not mean to do that. Um, uh oh. What? That's a Kado. You what is that? Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was a, it was an uh oh. You gotta ex you gotta explain yourself. You can't Rob. just say uh oh and then That's my go job. quiet. Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so did that happen? Did I just did oh, I undo that a move? That just happened. And... Oh, the king's domain. Am I... S <laughs> Did I run out of fuel? <laughs> Did I run out of fuel oh, because no. I missed... Because I misclicked? Excuse? So the game's over? No. No. That's rough! No. Well, thanks for tuning in. Waypoint made it a good five years, and then we ran out of gas. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay, shit. we're gonna press F, and we're gonna do a blind jump. Woo! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, Every time you jump between good. systems, your propulsion fuel recharges. I really wanted to stay in that opening area a bit longer and harvest <laughs> some ships. <laughs> oh, but this, is, this is much better, yeah, though. Yeah, this is great. It's for the stream, you know? It's for the drama. Beautiful. Oh, look at this target-rich environment. Okay. Just make sure to click correctly this time. <laughs> well, we got another jump, so now I'm not even worried. Mm. Right? We'll be fine. But anyway, so the other thing that appealed to me about this is it is so clearly a, like, aliens-inspired interface in a lot of mm -hmm. ways, where it's like, yeah, uh, you know, how... You can imagine this being, like, you're 
this is what like life for a Wayland Yutani like salvage operator would be like, where you're just completely isolated and marooned, no idea what's going on out there, and your only way to safely interact with stuff is through these kind of janky robots. So we're gonna go to the Miramis Knox. Um, H, how long? I forget how long you've sort of been. How long ago the apocalypse happened in this world? Um, uh, oh, there's yes. lore. There's with the Dusker's lore. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm gonna look this up. All right, Dusker's. I'm trying to think of a good portmanteau for Dusker's lore. Like instead of lore dump, it's like a lore dusk. Mmm. We can workshop Nothing. that. that. That needs a little work. It's needs some work. Do I bring Nathan aboard? No, I don't. I don't bring Nathan aboard. So I believe we were going to sell Danielle on inscription as well. Yeah. We were, Let's yeah. Um, oh, but then I sold her, and you were like, don't do that before the stream. And I was like, I'm just going to do it. I'm yeah. willing to be resold. Uh, you know? Well, yeah. Well, how do you feel about card games? Do you play them? You care? Is that, like know, a is, that, is that like a net in negative? In a Zachtronics game, I'll, okay. I'll have a lot of fun with whatever solitaire's in there, you know? Uh, well, so, so part of it is that, like, I... Like, it's for some people, like Kato, like you see a set of cards as a pitch yeah. of the game mechanics, and yeah, yeah he does that. Yeah, that's his, yeah. He, yeah, he, he just good. starts pound, yeah. he starts pounding the table, and then he's cards, standing on cards, the table, cards, and he's like, cards, 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 cards. <laughs> um, whereas I look at cards and uh, sort of groan. Uh, I was like, you know, give me, give me, can I jump instead? Can we get some real game mechanics here? Um, Let me run and jump. Uh, this is not really my thing, and I didn't really grow up playing card games, and so I don't have a lot of the vocabulary and like sort of like the institutional knowledge of like how card games flow and building decks and all that sort of stuff. Um, but I got my pitch on inscription is other than the creepy vibes, atmosphere being incredible, you're stuck in this cabin, you have to play this card game with this creepy thing across the table from you in which you really only see its Good. hands yep. um you don't really see its face um and you're stuck in this cabin and you got to play this card game and you don't know if that's going to get you out but you got to play this card game um and it's a pretty basic card game like the you can you can grok it you can understand it regardless of like how much time you've spent playing you know magic or slate the spire or or anything like that and just the atmosphere of it the storytelling is like so unbelievably good that i i just i just i can cannot does not come with a higher recommendation yeah i'm not i've only played i've only played like a third of it and it was you know i thought i solidified as boomerang x as like my favorite game this year and like what's the meme of Jason Momoa coming up behind? Like Jason Momoa is coming up behind Boomerang X uh, uh, in a in a in a creepy cabin costume and is ready to take it out with uh, inscription. That's fantastic. I'll be playing it. Now watch. We check in a week later. Danielle says I've played a thousand hours of inscription. It, it might happen. And it's like I don't even know how that's possible, but somehow she. A thousand somehow hours she, haven't even passed. Somehow yet. she into the breached it. Yep. <laughs> Might happen. Danielle kicked off the ambulance for playing inscription like a fiend during calls. <laughs> it's like, hold on. Listen, you might be having a heart attack. However, I need a little less this. cardiac arrest and a little more being arrested by these card mechanics. Ah, good. Uh, Jeverage uh, writes inscription. Uh, is the scariest horror premise of all. You're stuck playing a tabletop game you don't know with a person you don't like. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's real. Yeah. Oof, that seems brutal. Never been, <laughs> but wouldn't want to be. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> it's too real. Oh, I should that just use worked. my 101 slot to make everyone play from now. That's a game. That's close enough to a video game. Has Netrunner been ruined yet? Weren't people worried it was going to get ruined because it got bought? We don't know. That shit has it. Well, what they did was they uh, uh, applied a patent that, um, like, Wizards of the Coast technically owned the license still. Mm. And they, like, applied a, a patent that was, um, what was it? Um, 
<laughs> What's the wording for it? It's like uh, intent to use is the type of uh, like trademark, mm. and like so they intend to make something, and we don't know what they're gonna make. So, a Netflix anime. Oh God. <laughs> Did you watch that Dota one? Not yet. I've heard good things though. I have heard good things. They're bringing one of the anime characters into the game, so now I gotta watch it. Not that I play Dota anymore, but... <laughs> <laughs> but gotta, gotta keep on the lore, at least. Yeah. yeah. Chat, what's the um, undock and redock command? Is it this? Dear chat. Oh. What did you do? No. <laughs> <laughs> I might have... It was in the... <laughs> Yeah, that's ejects the fucking pod while one, the door <laughs> is open. To undock with oh, one of no. my little drones in the airlock. A baby bear! <laughs> A baby bear! Uh, and it was like safety precaution. Re-enter the dot command. Do you really <laughs> want to do this? But it'll let oh, you do no. it? You really want yes. to do this? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the shout out to a real one. Sorry, Dargo, we put in the wrong command. Dargo. Hold on. Dargo can survive in hard vacuum for up to. Actually true. Half yeah. an hour. Yeah. yeah. Ah. It's real. Wait, Dargo the character or Dargo the Roomba? Dar Dargo the character in the show. <laughs> oh, can't tell. <laughs> Mixing up my sci-fi. Uh... Listen. <laughs> Look, uh, fear accompanies the possibility of death. <laughs> Calm shepherds its certainty. Incredible. I love hanging with you, man. <laughs> <laughs> what a great show. Shit. Is that a fart? Is that you just pulled a Farscape's quote out of your ass? We just did a Farscape. We just did a Farscape, yeah. Oh, yes. my gosh. Did yeah. a Farscape. Yeah, that's just waypoint. Whoops, we did a Farscape. Whoops. <laughs> we built a bunch of puppets. <laughs> Oh, okay, so this is such an annoying ship. I hate this ship. It's a living ship. Uh, no, so the halls are too narrow for two drones to go side by side. And there's something, there's a treasure in room R5. Yeah. Um, mm. And there's a monster in there. So I can't just yeah, open airlock D9. I can't do it. Otherwise, the like hunter killer droid that's in there will just like fuck me up. So <laughs> I need to get everyone out of the way. Can you move them into R3? I could, but one of them's powering the door. No. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, okay, okay. Wait, Hi, Natalie. The all all good look? Rob noises. Uh, <laughs> ah! Someone, can someone start uh. making a soundboard, please? <laughs> <laughs> well, look. Let's be clear. This job is bullshit. Okay. Uh -huh. I, I think being... about, hey, Rob, we, you, that's in the private chat. We no waypoint is great. <laughs> Five years. We never been stronger wow. with waypoint plus. Wow. <laughs> What the fuck? Oh dear. <laughs> okay. All right. Rob's Here's what we're gonna do. Private. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna right. open hey, D9. Colin's in chat too. We were talking about you on the pod, Colin. <laughs> Only good things. <laughs> uh, nah. Na Natalie Watson says West Coast wait West West Coast West Coast West Coast Waypoint has awakened. <laughs> Yay, West Coast Waypoint. West Coint is the school that we send our interns to. <laughs> it's fine, Colin. You were just too good at Apex. Oh. <laughs> oh, West so, Coint. So that yellow motion tracker uh, thing. Yeah. I find it ambiguous. Yeah. It's between Does it a mean green the monster's in there or not? Yeah. No. That just means you know yellow you is scan, an emergent situation. Uh, Eldridge Architect says you can't get into yellow rooms. Oh. Or can't see into yellow rooms. Sorry. Ah. Uh. That's part of the fun of yellow. Now I don't know if Rob would agree with the term. Oh, there we go. Fun. There we go. No. <laughs> yeah, it's still in there. It turns out. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. I just closed the door too late. 
I need to be oh, ready. Oh, no. So we need to wait for this little asshole droid to get bored. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Fuck off. Nice. Get bored. <laughs> get bored, get wrecked. Uh, I don't... I don't have a lot of options for killing hostiles in this, unfortunately. <laughs> it's it's mostly, like... <laughs> Danielle, all I've got are TRDs. That's all you got. They're just little bug eye buddies, little robots with bug eyes. That's uh, it. Halcyon's asking, can we vent them? That's vent the bastards. Question. Well, uh, we know. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What is that? What, is, what, what do you got there? What am I looking at here? No, that ain't it. What's that little guy? No. <laughs> There's a little interface thing there. I can't really make out what it is. Yeah, it feels what? like it'll be able to do something with it. It looks like a text thing. Perhaps. I'm not there sure I, I have the droid that has the, the right thing to, to do something with this. Gotcha. Uh, House Dan says that's a vent. Small enemies can crawl through it. Oh, Ooh. that's great. Okay, so maybe I can vent the enemies in the space. Hold on. No, because it's not the door is not powered. I thought you got the uh, I thought you got the thing. Did you not get the, the treasure already? I did, but we're we're testing something real quick. Oh, okay. Uh Dave on Creative says you can vent them, but everything else in the room gets spaced as well. Yeah, okay, hold on here. We're gonna fuck this guy up. <laughs> Yeah, we're opening that airlock. Yeah! Yes! <laughs> All right, now we're gonna see if that worked. That's how you dusk her. Oh. What? Oh. That's not the oh. right. Oh. Well, okay, so one of them's still in room R2, but R2's yeah. clear. There were two of them? <laughs> there were there were two. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, so things are fine. Yes. Uh, but, yeah, so, like, this is kind of, like, this is all the easy stuff. Um, and then it just continues to get harder. Uh, I'm really surprised this is back under development. I'm really excited by that. That's fantastic. I'm gonna see what that what what is the what does that mean? Days survived. Wow, that's that's a pretty good survival. Twenty Look, days. Have... This game is getting in the spirit with a Halloween event. What's the Halloween event? Yeah. Rob, do you know what the Halloween event is? No, I. I... Patrick, me know things. <laughs> okay. Also, Victus, Victus Unus, doesn't venting have a chance of causing a potential cascade failure of doors? Boy, I probably should have known about that before I opened the door to face. <laughs> Get him. Well. All right, so this time we're boarding the a medical ship, the, the Metis. The, oh, the Metis. Good. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Lord. Yeah. All right. So we got a medical ship, uh, crew of two carrying surgical supplies. Jab this message from the emergency relays forwarding in its entirety. I had to let the bodies go. I had to get them off the ship and minimize the risk of infection. I've relayed the situation to all I show outposts. Hopefully they can get the data that I need to understand the pattern and stop from spreading further. I need to get to my lab. We don't have much time. I'm assuming Dr. J Holmes did not pull it off. Uh, exactly. And then th this looks like jail linking with theory index pandemic infection bodies <laughs> suggests for the inquiry I show cross reference International Space Health Organization Recom investigate medical communications for further data. OK, so that is a that is a lore quest that we can go down. I see we've got some clues as to what happened here. Yeah, some sort of. clues. These are the most congested ships. Jesus, it's like it's like my old apartment. 
Uh, Medical ships, you know? So there is, uh, Rob, if you want to investigate it this weekend and report back, if you opt into the future branch on Steam, there is a Halloween event that is only the, taking place this weekend, so I don't think it's available to us at the moment, unfortunately. But uh, that's super cool. This is a big ship. There are that's so a, many rooms. That's a on lot this of rooms ship. and a very maze like structure. Um, wow. Okay. So, yeah, like, I don't know. I feel like this game got a little bit of, like, word of mouth when it came out. Um, but, like, the fact that, like, <clears throat> Patrick, had you heard of this? I'd heard of it because I know, I know people like you who were, you know, obsessed with it, but. It, it never struck me as my my type of game, but it was always one that I liked hearing people tell stories about. You know, like I would I would listen to someone like Austin tell a story about it on a podcast, like that sounds great, and then I'd go look at the game and be like, eh, not not really my thing. Um, but uh, it probably has a better chance to blow up now, right? Like when this game originally came out, it's kind of like how long ago was that? Um, Five years. Like, yeah. Same as same as Waypoint, yeah. apparently. Oh wow! Yeah. This is like, see. I think so. Yeah. May right May 18th, 2016. Yep. Uh yeah, like I find it really like the 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 order of operations puzzles is compelling, but like it also gets really overwhelming. Um mm -hmm. but I kind of love it for that. Um I can see myself putting a cool thousand hours into something like that. <laughs> you know, just, just like take a Monday off and uh, spend three days putting a thousand hours into a video game. Uh, uh, physics is queer says, I think I heard about it from Rock Paper Shotgun back around launch. That sounds about mm -hmm. right. That seems mm -hmm. like the kind of website that would write seven articles about Duskers. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. God bless. So Danielle, hopefully, like I hope to see you doing some horror streaming with this. I think, like, yeah, this is just to. the the, yeah. the interface is so deliciously chunky. It's such a like evoking all the right like '80s sci-fi. I think. Yeah. Um, I am curious. The chat can probably you know say more like how more how much more puzzling is there? Because right now we've seen really basic stuff. Um, I have tended to get my ass kicked at this game pretty righteously. Now I know that's probably shocking to you. Um, it is that's... actually shocking to me. Yeah. Because you're you're a I logical am, thinking I am, person. I am shocked. I had a higher expectations, frankly. Yeah. Well, you know, lower them. <laughs> <laughs> you want to take a take a wild guess? Take a take a take a, everyone take your dart out and um, the one of the one of the the larger media outlets that covered this game when it came out. It was a, a place called Giant Bomb, and they did a quick look of it. Like, guess guess who worked there in 2016 did a quick look of it? It's not me. Perfect. <laughs> Austin Walker. <laughs> See, everything, everything, time is a flat circle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and now and now we're back. Reintroducing the world to Duskers uh, for, for the sake of its, its, its fresh new lease on development life. Uh, very exciting stuff. Like when we we know our audience, it was like, how do you start a day long stream? Like, really get the blood pumping, get people interested, psyched up, ready to to hang out for the day. You you get a game that has the kind of visual effects that poorly stream. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it worked out. It well, was when we switched to the it was, well, it was worse when we were like, what was it? We originally were using Parsec, and that was really struggling with whatever compression it does. Yeah. And then when we switch to this OBS Ninja, it seemed to do better with the uh, the artifacting on, on the screen. It looks pretty good to me, looking at mm -hmm. the stream itself on this other window. So I think it seems pretty good. Um, well, what? So uh, as, we, as we wind down our, our first, first hour, for one, I wanted to make sure to mention, because uh, uh, we didn't at the top, um, because we're good at this stuff. Um, yeah. We are offering, uh, if you, if you, uh, a special uh, discount for the first time for Waypoint Plus. Waypoint Plus, the whole reason we're able to do stuff like this um, for the, the many people who have supported Waypoint Plus in the months that we've had it. Um, if you enter code Waypoint Five Year, number five, not don't write it out. Waypoint Five Year at uh, checkout at waypointplus.com, 
you can get 25% uh, percent off a full year subscription. My understanding is that applies to uh, like a, a re-up or a new sub or a gift. Um, and so that'll get you access to the Waypoint Plus like subs only podcast feed where we got movie stuff and um, upcoming the Waypoint 101 on, on Stalker. Um, we've had 101s on Super Metroid. Uh, so if you uh, have been waiting on that, um, there's 25% off for you with the Waypoint five year code. And if you can't afford it today, there are other holidays coming up in which we'll probably do more um more sales like that but uh danielle what, what have you got going on at fanby what do you want to shout out what do you want to tell the people about uh, uh other than liking duskers and farscape i like duskers i like farscape i also love fanbite.com you can follow us on fanbite media jack just won't give us at fanbite it's very sad but fanbite media it's where you can follow us on twitch i'm uh, sorry on twitter and I do want to shout out, I know everybody's streaming here today, but I do want to shout out our Twitch, of course, Fanbyte on Twitch. We actually have the Resident Evil 8 uh, actresses coming by tonight from 6 to 9 p.m. on our Twitch. Oh, hell doing yeah. Doing Resident Evil stream. Oh, They're like the, be there. All, the, all the sisters? Uh, uh, the Maggie, and let's see. Let's see. We have two people coming okay. for that. We've got, I've got the little ad right here. It's very exciting. Uh, we have Maggie Robertson and Nicole Tompkins. So not all the Hell sisters. Yeah. We've got a couple of sisters coming by. Very, very, very good voice acting in that game. Yeah. Very scary vampire sisters. Um, very scary what a, stuff. What a good game. Spooky um, stuff. Happy Halloween, also, everybody. Yeah. What are you gonna? Wa- are you going to watch anything spooky this weekend? Have you watched anything good oh, yeah. this month? Oh yeah. Lair of the White Worm. New favorite. New favorite. Lair of the. Is that a new one? No, no, it's old, but it's it's fantastic. Patrick, I think you might like it. I think you might appreciate it. Okay, I'm so. writing Lair of the White. Yeah, Lair of the White. Okay, I don't... All right, I need people yeah. to... I don't make this recommendation easily. This is not for the faint-hearted in horror. And it's not really like a gore... Th- hmm. There's a movie called Titan. Um, it Titan. is from... Yes, the writer-director of a movie from a couple of years ago called Raw... Oh, whose premise yeah. I don't really want to... Raw is an all-timer. It is, like, one of the best horror films of the last 20 years. Of Barna. Like, you watch... I, I, you might want to start with Raw. And if you if you can... Ha- if in Raw is just, like, unsettling. It's, like, it's a little gross, but I, I think it's a little more... It's not... I wouldn't recommend it to normies, necessarily, but if you sure. like horror, if you can start with Raw, and if you vibe with this director, you're like, I would go on whatever ride this director took me on if you were willing if you're willing to do that the movie titan which i watched last weekend i never want to see that movie again not because it's scary but it is it is one of the most cinematic i don't even know how to explain it i can't i can't i just it is one of the most intense movie experiences i've ever had i never want to have it again um yep. but not because it's scary or or it is kind of gross i don't know i'm just putting it out there for danielle i'm and, and the viewers if you want to have an unforgettable experience. Raw plus uh, Titan would be one way to spend uh, your weekend. So that'll be that'll be my recommendation uh, to you. Uh, oh, that's perfect. Lair of the White Worm. I have now have. Oh, Peter Capaldi. Uh, yep, Peter Capaldi. Hugh Grant. It's, what it's is this? Fan fucking tastic. <laughs> I think you'll enjoy it. I think you'll enjoy it. Just gonna say. All right. It's about a sexy snake lady and dragons and demons and shit. You'll have fun. You'll have fun. Okay. All right. Uh, so this ship is big. I'm kind of lost here, and we need to. <laughs> this... Ship's big. There's we lots of rooms, but there's not that much in them. I feel like I'm. This is like one of those things where it's like, look at all the drawers you can check. They're all empty, but it's an immersive sim, so you're like, I better check all the drawers. You gotta look. Yeah. 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 So uh, this ship is mostly empty. Uh, Daniel, it's been great having you back. Uh, we got to do this more often. I think. There's Absolutely. a shortage of people who have the patience to get on this kind of weird bullshit. Uh, oh, it, like that will indulge me, but he pouts. You know how he gets. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what a child! He pouts. No, I. Oh, says the, oh, says oh the powder. <laughs> it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. Congratulations on five years. Uh, it's been we exciting. We could not to have made it without you. Oh. No, and, yeah. Congrats to you too. I mean, part part, part of what's uh, beautiful about waypoint is well rob rob and i are we're still here um but it's, it's been the fact that 
you know, and I felt this way at Giant Bomb. It was like, it's yeah. so cool to see talented people come through, go on to do different things. Like, the idea that Waypoint, in some ways, has become sort of like, not just a launching pad, but like this place where like people come and like spit out and go do amazing things after is like really yeah. exciting. And like, hopefully that's also what Waypoint can help function as in in the future and uh so yeah. we we couldn't be more proud of all the cool stuff that you're that you're doing over there so um Aww. it rules thanks folks thanks so much i appreciate it uh, is that us cutting the card now Kato? i'm not sure we're cutting the cards we're back, with dead by, <laughs> we're back with dead by daylight and matthew galt i think natalie i think the joyous yes. gamer is the joyous awake gamer so is uh give us five ten minutes we'll be back with uh dead by daylight